and colored animation is a type of traditional animation where each frame is independently created by hand. This allows artists to freely express themselves in any type of drawing medium without being constrained by the technical restrictions inherent to techniques like cell-based animation. It has a distinct visual style with a certain amount of temporal flickering as details of the consecutive frames are not perfectly aligned. However, it is rarely used in production practice for two main reasons. First, the inability to reuse material between frames makes the creation process extremely labor-intensive. Approximately 1200 hours of artist work were needed to create the two and a half minute animation accepted here. Second, the temporal noise present in the animation can cause visual fatigue in the viewer, complicating the creation of longer clips. Recent advances in example-based methods facilitate the creation of images and animations with visual richness similar to handmade artwork. Hand-colored animation requires still more. Explicit control over the amount of temporal noise is needed to strike a balance between lively dynamics and viewer comfort. In our paper, we present a method that synthesizes a hand-colored animation from a reference video and a single example of the drawing medium, while allowing fine control over the amount of temporal noise. Our approach is based on an observation that even in hand-colored animation, high-level features remain coherent in order to communicate the content of an animation to the viewer. We start with a reference video from which we extract these high-level features using a low-pass filter. Given an additional image as an example of the desired visual style, we use randomized example-based synthesis to reintroduce low-level detail back into the animation and produce the stylized hand-colored result. For the technical details on how this is done, please refer to our paper. The resulting animation both conveys the visual style of the example image and preserves the high-level features of the reference animation, such as overall look and animation dynamics. Furthermore, by changing the width of the filter used in the initial step, we can determine the lowest scale of detail which is preserved, which in turn gives us the desired fine control over the amount of visual noise in the resulting animation. Because our method does not rely on any semantic information and only requires the RGB values, the artist may use almost any method to create the reference animation, so long as it is visually similar to the example medium. As shown here, we may use an example-based painting tool to create a still image, animate it using a deformation model, and use the result as a reference animation. Or we may use a 3D modeler to create an animated model, apply textures from natural painting media, and then turn the result into a hand-colored animation. Alternatively, we may animate textured particles to produce a reference sequence and employ our algorithm to give a more stylized look to such simulations of particulate media. Or we can use our algorithm in conjunction with a texturing method like Textoons to improve result quality and remove shower door effects. Thank you for watching and may you have many pleasant experiences watching hand-colored animation.